Hey guys. Okay, so today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, this is a Trek Multi Trek 7200 that I got along with another bike that I just sold. Um, and I'll give you a little bit of a tour of this bike. Uh, and then I'll pose my question to the community. Um, it's got a Chromali forks, Pro Max, um, linear brakes, hubs and rims. I don't know, they're alloy. Um, Ciudad Kevlar. Uh, 32, uh, sorry, 700C tires, um, Shimano 8 speed, V brake, shifter, uh, grip shifters, uh, Shimano C101, uh, uh, aluminum frame, uh, Shimano Sierra, rear derailleur, black trails, um, lots of like chips and scuffs, and you know, the seats all cruddy, um, it's got these cages on there with uh, straps that have been worn out. Um, and like I said, I got this also with a, uh, a, a Jamis Citizen One hybrid bike. Um, so here's the scenario, and I'm really curious to get everyone's opinion on this. Um, a local seller was selling both of these bikes. I was initially more interested in the, the other bike because it was 50 bucks. And that seemed like a pretty good bike to um, fix up and resell. Um, this bike was being sold for $175, I believe, um, which is a lot more than I would ever spend for a bike like this, um, especially in, in, in the condition. And this is after I've cleaned it up and tuned it up. So when, when I first got this bike, um, there was a gauge that showed the um there was a gauge that showed the uh the, sh the sh what, sh what gear it was on and it was kind of connected to these cables um that gauge was broken this was detached there was um like a, a holder for a bike computer with and there was no computer there was a sensor attached to the spokes um the rear rack was detached because there was hardware missing um it needed to be tuned up, cleaned, lubricated, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so, 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 but, but I got it anyway, because the demand right now is so hot. I figured if I could fix that and sell both of them, you know, I would turn it a really a small profit on this, but, um, but on the whole, I would, I, I would do okay. And it was, it was, it's, I was already there. So it didn't seem like a, that big of a deal anyway. Um, so I bought both of them and she, she said that, uh, I could have them for, I think 200. Um, so I said, fine. And again, like I, that's, that's more than I would, that's probably about twice as much as I would typically pay for a couple bikes. Anyway, so I got them, um, brought them both home. I spent about two hours tuning them up, cleaning them, um, removing all the broken bits, reattaching the rack and doing all that stuff. And then I posted them both up, um, on on Facebook for 200 each, which I thought was a fair price um, for bikes that have been tuned up, cleaned, regreased, etc. Um, and it was at that point when I started to receive some angry messages from her saying that she felt I had taken advantage of her. Um, and that first she commented on this one, and this was only marked up by $25. And she felt like that was an unfair markup, even though I had done work on it. Um, and then for the other one, she felt like that was that I had taken advantage of her. Um, and so I guess that's my question. Uh, you know, did did was she taken advantage of? Um, I mean, I, I, I didn't haggle. I, she, she named her price for both of them. She said that she wanted to just clear out her garage. But but you tell me, um, was that wrong? And uh, if so, how would you have done it differently? Honest question. Um, I've been doing this for, gosh, over 12 years, flipping bikes, you know, buying them cheap, fixing them up, reselling them, getting them back out there. A lot of the bikes just end up in the landfill. Uh, and this is the first time I ever got that kind of a, a reaction. So curious to hear what people think. Thanks. Post, it, post your comment below.